I heard loud and clear. We are ready to go. As we make our way over to Oasis, let's go ahead and go over the lineups. For UCLA, we got Astro Hilpi, Algernon, Sebastian, Mac Macrius, and Chingus. For the side of Kabbalah, we got Hecro, Edamanite, Synapse, Blink, and Nox 52. Both teams assembling their heroes. And based on the we what we are looking at is going to be you know let's see we've seen a couple of hamster balls get put into play. We've seen the Winston. We are also seeing Alright, so I'm kinda liking the compositions here at the moment. The Symmetra is an interesting pick for UCLA. Uh, more of a dive comp coming in as we look over at the Winston Bank play that is Sebastian. And we are now able to take off. And we are going to be quickly making our way forward. And the Arisa and the Winston are both going to be able to first collide here. And it's going to be UCLA that's going to be establishing some position here to start things off. And then Hector playing as the pocket version, but Sebastian quick to dive on in, but Hector, Hector really low, but luckily he is going to be able to get away. Uh, nothing happening as of yet. The Tracer Force get healed on up, but UCLA are going to be the first ones up on the board. If they're able to the first three questions, can they take down the Arisa and get a fourth? Yes, they will. And UCLA is going to be maintaining first possession of the point to start things off. Now, so UCLA is going to playing for the high ground at the moment. Teleportation markers do go down. And Genghis able to secure a headshot there. And already to get things started. It is Genghis making his presence felt. And already off grid. And finally, Cal Poly gets their first elimination on the match as Genghis goes down. But already UCLA getting some dominant control here from maintaining in part two their DPSs. Sorry, give us a second here. Ready for yeah, we are also experiencing the difficulties on our end, but in the meantime, I hope you guys are able to see the match now. UCLA, during that little tech, po tech pause from us, was able to secure the first a good cigar round a of the attack. What more does a man need? And now, as we move on into our second portion of it, right now we are looking at. Oh, never mind. The composition is going to change back, and everything looks to remain the same for the most part. The only difference is we are going to be seeing the turn burn coming in, as well as Soldier 76. So, a little bit of change coming on in here from the top of all the squads. So we're going to get things turned off, but already off rip with their mantra coming on in. Already zoning out Cop Holly really quick in part to a dominant UCLA team here in the meantime. And Sebastian here on the Revolver just pushing him 
allowing their way forward. And already that's a team kill coming on the side of UCLA. And UCLA, similar to the way they started things off, they're already going to be off to a fantastic start on their end. And so far, it's going to be the whole entire point before UCLA just 40 seconds off as we reach a little bit over 20%. But Nox! Able to secure the kill there. That's gonna be the first one up for Cal Poly in this set of matches. But once again, Genghis making his way over. It's just doing a phenomenal job on the Cassidy. And now it's gonna be the rest of the UCLA squad once again just simply steamrolling as they're gonna get enough their second team kill on this round. And now they're gonna be up as they slowly reaching 50% here on the second map. Now a couple ultimates are available for UCLA, but nothing being used as of yet. A revival is going to be able to come on into play, but unfortunately it's going to be for none as Nox quickly eliminated Volume 2. And here we go, we have the Armatro coming on through, and that's going to be a near perfect team for coming on in from UCLA once more. And with Astro Hippie securing, taking down Blink on the Genji. That's just UCLA maintaining dominant control and they are looking good as they are looking to secure a 2-0. Oh. So right now as we reach 98% Cal Poly, they gotta get someone on the objective. They finally do after getting the switch onto it, but unfortunately that's not gonna be enough. UCLA in dominant fashion aren't even going to allow Cal Poly to take point. That is going to be map number one in favor of UCLA. And we're going to go ahead and go to our play of the game. Going over to Astro Hippie. And I mean, just a fantastic job coming on in from UCLA. And I understand we are. I'll be good. Mind if I try something? Yeah. Hang on, let me just do one thing real quick. So we're going to be go ahead and getting in our first, uh, we're going to go ahead and get our map bank coming on in from Cal Poly. In the meantime, let me go ahead and let me just fix some stuff. Oh, we're just not going to I, Check one two, check one two. Check one two. All right, so we are currently trying to experience some technical issues here in the facility, but in the meantime though, a uh, dominant showing from UCLA. Um, just like, just the way UCLA played. They got onto point quick and then just denied Cal Poly. Cal Poly just tried to make their way over and maybe try to get a little bit of a back door, but unfortunately every opportunity Cal Poly tried to take uh, UCLA, they were just there. 
and the Bruins already off with a phenomenal start here. And all they need is one more, and they're already off to a 1-0 in this round robin. And if you're UCLA, you're feeling good. And right now we are looking at the map picks and bans and currently... Oh, there we go. Feels good. <laughs> All right. Now we can finally hear some audio here in the eSports Center. So in the meantime, though, we do have Junkertown getting banned. We are now just waiting for a map pick to come on through. And I'm going to go ahead and just turn on my mic settings so you guys don't get any additional input lag. But now the question is, what is going to be the map pick as we head on into our next map, which will be an escort. And it is going to be Dorado that will be picked by Cal Poly. So excited to see how things turn out here. Dorado is actually one of the better maps looking at escort in at least my opinion. So we'll things, see how things play out. If I'm looking at Cal Poly, I'm looking to finally like, finally like, you know, sync up some of those win conditions, be able to get things set up. But if you're UCLA, you want to keep things going. You want to maintain control. You want to keep this pressure felt. If you keep this pressure felt, you're easily going to take this 1-2-0. So I'm excited to see how things turn out as we are hopefully getting things set up and ready to go in the meantime. But if you are just tuning on in, welcome to the Collegiate Esports Clash brought to you by the Bakersfield Esports Center. Uh, we are live from said uh, Bakersfield Esports Center. As we have been hosting the event all day, starting off at 9 o'clock, we had Rocket League playing. And then later on at 2 o'clock, we also had a showcase of Valorant. And ending things off for the night, we got some beautiful Overwatch. And we got a good crowd going. We got three fantastic teams. All right, and it looks like the teams are asking for a little bit of a break. So while they're taking a break, we are going to be right back with map number two of this best of three. We'll be back after a short little break. All right, welcome on back here. We have made the short little timeout commencement period done. Uh, the reason for the timeout is we were actually going to swap in from UCLA, uh, switch, just switching in a sub. So we are getting things set to go. Dorado is now in play. Dorado has been selected and we are going on in. If you are just tuning on in, we are watching the first match in our round robin format. And no, for this format, it is a best of three. UCLA took the first, so all they need to do is win one more, and they are going to be winning match number one. As we make our way over to Dorado. 
and both teams just getting set, assembling their heroes before they set things off and will be able to look at team compositions. as UCLA makes their way over their way for the defense. Uh, Sebastian going to be remaining on the Winston. In the meantime, we do have Chingus switching over from the casting, making his way on into the Widowmaker. And then after him, he's going to be opting for the Ash. And then with this current meta, we are also looking at Mercy coming on his way alongside Anna. Or Ash, I mean, my scared. Has anyone ever told you that you're uh, still working on this little uh, Overwatch casting thing? But in the meantime, though, Cal Poly is getting set ready to go. May is going to be coming on into play alongside Reaper. Diva is going to be coming on into play as well alongside Baptiste two, and the Pocket one. Mercy as well. And as we start to off here, we're going to be maintaining Stop control the over here on to the right side. So we Diva on Winston action. I do like the Diva thing coming into the Winston. But right now, Cal Poly just maintaining together. Uh, Blink and actually switch over to the Widowmaker. And it's a pick. I do like this uh, form to be able to like get like long range from a combat, takes a shot, but unfortunately he won't be able to hit for anything. As he is going to be able to get a pretty on the match. Nox, unfortunately, out of the mech and is going to be eliminated. Yeah, right now, UCLA, similar to the start we saw over there on control, they are just a savage. A fantastic defense once more. But Blinko able to get the first elimination for Cal Poly as he is able to take out Zegas. They have an opportunity here to be able to do some damage. Sebastian being targeted by that first thing. As Blink, he's able to get a second one in Cal Poly. They have an opportunity here to be able to finally finish do something. Sebastian Clock is knocked into a corner that Diva is out of her mech and is going to be gone. But right now, Cap Holly does have an opportunity to push up and reach that first checkpoint here. But they have a tough gap to reach as UCLA, they're stepping these up. And alongside the Primal Rage coming into play, Cal Poly is going to be forced to remain back and not be able to do much more other than that. As the Winston there. is going to be healed back on up. There's an enemy here! Spotting in from above. No ultimate other than the Nano Boost up in place for UCLA. Hopefully soon. Uh, so that's the Rashid is going to be taking a little bit of damage, but it's going to be on back. Adam and I kind of forced to pay on back with the team, but Sebastian diving on through and it's just forcing Cal Poly to play back. And Ching is kind of tagging on in from the backside. It's forcing Nox to go down as well. And with a minute 40 here, Cal Poly, they're going to have to make a move. They're stuck in a standstill. They're stuck. Like earlier, they were able to get off some of this strongly, but right now, they do have two ultimates, but the question is, will it be enough? The Valkyrie is available as well, so you can keep in mind for Cal Poly. You can make more speed to the back, and the Valkyrie are now available as well. Bob is also available for the side of UCLA, and he is going to be deployed. And hold up, Cal Poly were able to kind of backdoor and they have the protective point. They caught UCLA lacking and right now, they're pushing the objective forward and now UCLA is finally going to be able to contest here with a minute. And the Primal Rage is set and comes on through. The Blizzard comes on through and Adam and I is able to... Adamantine is going to be able to get a kill and unfortunately won't be able to capitalize much more off of that. Keep an eye out. As Cal Poly, they are still forced back. They were able to catch UCLA off guard. They weren't able to pay attention to the point, and right now things are not looking good here for the Mustangs. The Terra Search is about to be available from Nox, but as the activate is going to be enough. Unfortunately, I don't think it will. Blink, though, able to capitalize on this, is able to get the back. But now, remember, they are 
objective, we reach the overtime period, and Cal Poly won't be able to reach much farther than that. That's going to be it for round one. 79 meters is going to be the goal to beat for UCLA as they head on into the attack. Zero to zero. Switching sides. So we've seen how quick UCLA is able to punch, but the question is, can they keep that up as they head on to the attack? See how much further they can move the payload. Can they move it further than 79? And one thing UCLA has done good so far is just controlling their ults, using them at the right time. They didn't really need to overpressure, didn't need to stack them up, no need to stack them in conditions. And as we go ahead and get our heroes revealed, uh, we got a big competition change coming on in from Cal Poly. Do not speak to the pilot uh, we got a Soldier 76 coming on in to play alongside Baptiste and the Mercy coming on in alongside Sigma. And that's the Echo also going to be done to play by Adamantine as well. Not opting to use the sniper player as they were at the start. I feel like they did a really good job utilizing the Widow there toward the beginning, which did allow them to get some movement on the payload to initially get things started. But we'll see how it works on the defense. Whereas for UCLA, they are going to be bringing on in the hamster potentially, unless they can switch over to Winston once again. No, we're getting the Wrecking Ball coming on in. But Cal Poly, they're going to start things off and they're going to be playing back. But already off oh, rip UCLA. Already just plowing their way on through. Sebastian spots the Mercy and that's already four off the board for Cal Poly. And this may potentially be the fifth once Sigma goes down. And with that, the Bruins are already halfway to the objective point. They don't have to go much further. As Cal Poly, they got one good team fight left to just hold things off, but they got to do it for three minutes straight. And when Genius is putting on up with the Widow, they are even getting a thousand working lines from Baker. Other than Yada, yeah, things are not looking good. As UCLA, they're just trying their way through as with that 5 3rd history. That's going to do it. UCLA is going to take it 2 to nothing over on Cal Poly. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at the way the game coming on in. From the back of UCLA. Making two players at the front. The primal rage coming on through. Oh no, don't tell me. Okay, he did throw. 